Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome Calvisha. Let's chat a little bit. So I think last time we learned there was new content after we beat the normal game. So before I make a decision whether I feel up to trying another set of party members, let's see what the post game is like. <laughs> I may or may not skip the post game content if it's shared between characters. But at minimum I'll beat the standard game if I were to play again. But we'll see. I don't really know what to expect at all since this is brand new content. Let's pause the... Oh, I'm a flamelet is the name of the song. You know. Apparently only 17% of players have ever beaten the Lich. Not really sure why, but sure. Interesting that people have, I guess because, okay, so I got rewards for completing Risei's, Kevin's, and Hawkeye's story, but that's kind of funny that so few people have picked Kevin or Charlotte as their protagonist. Like, it's like 17.4% compared to 24% of players that pick Kevin, and nearly 38% of players play Risei, apparently. And I've beaten the game with them. So, I guess we'll hop into the game. I don't think I have too much else to say. Minimize this, look at chat. So I believe it'll just jump immediately into a cutscene. That's what we started getting last time. Little did they know another evil is about to awaken in the world, according to the game. Here we go. What? Why? Why have I awoken? Hmm. Why? This is the royal library in Volsena. How have I come to be here? All my worldly knowledge was sealed within this tome. The spirit of Master Grand Qua is no longer in this realm. Ra? Oh boy. Why am I here? I cannot feel the presence of the Goddess of Mana. Oh no. The witch. She must have awakened. I don't know why I thought that was pronounced Croy before. New challenge has been unlocked. The journey will return before the party challenges the Dark Lich. Head to the Royal Library in Valsina. Okay. Let's just use the seeds we got earlier. And we'll get to see what the library is all about. Serio attire, lucky card, rich incest, cookies, serums, elixirs, wolf galia. I mean, I could equip armor for the first time, maybe. Earth coin acquired. It's not a good reward. Five rainbow seeds. Skull slicers, wolf helms. I mean, I'll use the weapon increase. That's fine. So yeah, beat the boss without even getting these upgrades, which to me is funny. You know what? I'll count that. I'll, I'll wear this, because this is a helmet. This is not their basic armor. I'll count this. Hey, I need help. Wolf helm is for her. At least AI got some upgrades. Hmm. I don't think I got anything else interesting. So I got better helmets. Which I guess I'll wear. 
I could just to see how good defense actually is real quick. Let's actually do that. Because, you know, we, we got to this point in the game and I never learned if defense was any good. <laughs> I mean, we beat the game with basically basic armor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get hit on purpose a couple times. So I'm going to remember I'm 1046. Let's see what kind of damage they do to me. 173, 179. Okay. So let, let's keep those numbers in mind. 173, 179. So a little bit of damage range. What I'm going to do is the before and after. I'm going to try equipping this. All we need to do is fight them again. Because I would like to actually know if defense is worth getting at some point. There's the enemy of the same type. I think I'm going to go fight them there. Can I seriously not jump this? Why? I know the map says I can't, but like visually speaking, why can't I get over this? Him, please. How am I at least not able to go over here? That's absurd. That's like actual insanity. Seriously, you're gonna make me go around to go find this? Also, I forgot dash is not automatic. So that would make too much sense. Alright, so like 173, 179. So I've went up about 30 points. Is it linear, and am I about to take 140, or I'm gonna take way less? Let's find out. So, I went up about 30 defense. I... So it is linear. It is linear-ish. I'm not very impressed. So you know what, Chad? I'm, I'm kind of glad I never bought armor. I mean, I'll use it because I have it. Actually, you know what? I'll just unequip it. Who cares? Just 30 damage. That way we could say we beat the game without it. It's only 30 defense. Who cares? It matters more in, like, multi-hit attacks. But yeah, that flat defense. Not impressed. So let us use flute. I don't really even think I want to do the stat ups. I don't think the stat ups matter. I, I feel like it's like it's okay. Maybe luck would matter on the character's other damage, but intellect I don't think matters at all for us. Where is fairy flute? There we go. We'll give it a. I'll get rid of the claw, I guess, for now. Wait, why am I not able to use this? What? Wait, but it's telling me you don't have the. Wait. Oh, oh, wrong thing. I'm sorry. Wrong thing. For some reason, I thought it was flammy flute, and I was like, no, no, slammy drum. Duh. Confused myself for a second. We're good. That's what you get for taking a break. See, uh, I I'm convinced defense is not worth it in this game at all. I I, I was like, I if, if the fact that it looked very linear means like, oh no. Instead of taking 400 damage, I would take maybe 370 or 340. Like, I don't think that would have mattered at all at any point in our playthrough. So I guess we'll go find the magic talking book and see what challenge awaits us. Does this mean 
that you can see my aura? Whoa! A book that talks? That does sound valuable. Ah, yes. <clears throat> I was once a great magician, known as Master Grand Qua. Your world is in grave danger, and that danger's name is Annis the Witch. Annis the Witch has been revived. Uh, who? She's a magic user from the realm of the Mana Goddess. Annis is the reason this world continues to be in peril. Annis intends to open a portal to Mavolia and destroy this world. There is but one way to face such a terrifying force of evil. You must reach the strongest class I ever discovered. Class 4. Oh no. Class 4? Class 4 time chat. You must find a way to switch to class 4 and defeat Annis. Save this world from the chaos she brings. Get class 4. Save the world. Yes. Okay. In order to reach class 4, you must obtain a specific item. That item is... The Instinct Sphere. The Loyal Sphere. The Kind Sphere. Interesting. Hmm. Luck is on your side, as fate would have it. These class items can be found in places important to you. Perhaps even kept by people to whom you have a deep connection. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. I beg of you. You must reach Class 4 to stop Annis and save this world from utter destruction. Kept by someone deeply connected to me. Perhaps something from Father, or... This ribbon belonged to my mother. Could it be what I need for class four? <gasps> oh. No. I suppose it is not. I'm feeling quite tired, honestly. It must be some other object. Let us go to Laurent and see what we may find. Why are we getting Rise's thing before the others? I was like, of all the characters to upgrade, she is not the first. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> like, Re Risa got a little better with the class upgrade, but like, I I'm not going to get her upgrade before Kevin's. Nice try. So at least, like, it looks like the post game at least is a little customized towards the characters. I'm assuming we're going to have to go talk to Carl, because th that's the only character this Kevin cares about. It sure isn't going to be the king. Instinct sphere. King of Ferolia might know it. Come, let's go. I'm waiting for the king to be a red herring. I'm waiting for Carl to have it. You know, Carl, that was totally alive the whole time. It was just an illusion and you're stupid for going on an adventure. <laughs> let's go to Gaslight Father. My favorite father. And I guess we'll do Hawkeye next. Oops. My king! Tell me, I thought that only a truly strong beast man was worthy enough to rule Ferolia! How can you let some, some wimpy pup like Kevin succeed you as king? I won't stand for it! And when exactly did I declare Kevin my official successor? Of course, only one who is truly strong can lead. As you say. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it, your majesty! <laughs> Just wait. I believe you will yet have the chance to test your strength. Hey, hey, 
Kevin! You're just in time! In time for me to defeat you and take your place as heir, that is. I'm no weakling like Luger. He ran off with his tail betwixt his legs without even beating you once. You're just a whiny little puppy. Luger was no weakling. <laughs> Weaklings always stand up for one of their own. You losers were made for each other. He probably left because he was scared in the first place. No! Wrong! Ludger was not weak! Take it back! Or else... Or else what? Your Majesty! Permission to put your son Kevin in his place! Feel free. He is no son of mine if he loses. Ha! You hear that, Kevin? You ready? We gotta get this nuisance out of the Oh wait, what? <laughs> well, time to murder you. <laughs> totally necessary abilities. Welcome, Chris. Father of the year. We basically just like Super Saiyan burst one shot him. Not a weakling. Take back what you said about Ludger. Curses. I won't forget this. You have gotten a bit stronger. King, answer me. Where is the instinct sphere? Where did you hear about that? Needed to save the world. I will ask again. Where is the instinct sphere? Come to the highest floor of Chart Moon Tower if you want to know. Be prepared to prove to everyone you are worthy enough to succeed me. Then, I will tell you. Okay. Chart Moon Tower. I will go. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just continue onwards. Time to go back to the tower, I guess. Hopefully you're doing well, Chris. I think without looking up more data, I'm not really sure if I want to go light or dark with Angela. She's the character I definitely know the least about in Trials between both of the games. I never used her to beat a game playthrough. So I don't even know what she would gain differently between light and dark paths, let alone the remakes differences. Like, I imagine dark is more magic, but white might be more recovery, so I don't have to micromanage her. I'm not really sure. Had a rough night, sorry to hear. Oh, I can skip that animation, good. Small mercies. Yeah, I figured it'd just be faster to just fly here rather than walk through the woods to go here. Saves us like six screens. Welcome. I have a wide variety of weapons. You're welcome. Come again. Well, without quality armor, it won't matter how good your weapons are. Silly game. I'm not I purchasing can't. your stuff even with my cash. I don't care. Okay. This is the tower. What's supposed to happen here that will let you prove your worth? Kevin. You are shivering. I understand how frightening this must be. This is not fear. I am not weak. This is my chance. 
can show my strength. Trembling with excitement. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for understanding Starfire. It re she really does have like the sa the Starfire sound directions. It's kind of uncanny. I guess I just go back to the top of the tower. Not that I think anything can stop me at all. I'll take down the enemy. Such weak targets. But... Yeah, this seems fair. My own strength. Done. I like how little XP I get too. Holy. Goodbye. Apparently missed the chest over there. I might as well just go back. We must continue to try them. So what was over here that I missed? Oh, a mimic. <laughs> yeah, that seemed fair. What do you think, chat? This is fair. Well, I think attack abilities no longer matter, chat. Listen, I does it even matter if I know if like what attack is repel versus knockback? I feel like it hasn't been relevant since I got my class upgrade. Like my very first one. Their weakness is insta death. I got an I got an unknown seed, I guess. Congratulations. I mean they're not even getting to like the strong part of the move. What a ridiculous ability. So Death Fist feels like it was my playstyle for sure, especially since we're going around one shotting everything. Because as long as I get 200% back every battle, which he could get by just killing things, I literally could just one button every encounter. So yeah, the game does not feel balanced around the final class upgrade. It feels like the game was balanced around you getting your first one and the enemy scale up, but not not anymore. I think chat could agree. Like, this is just sad. They're just absolutely getting one shot. Sadly, at this rate, I might level. Yeah, this is so one-sided. I feel kind of bad for them. Like, look at this chat. Press button, win game. I think out of principle, even if New Game Plus leaves the other characters... Oh, look, 5,000 experience. Even if New Game Plus doesn't carry over these levels but gives me the abilities like if i'm allowed to carry over this really stupid one where i get all my gauge back every battle i think chat would agree there'd be no point to even playing like i could i even die on anything other than like max difficulty like i think even even playing hard mode or the equivalency thereof i don't think will really matter and thanks to triple XP, I actually managed to level there, which to me is insane. So yeah, I think we'll start a fresh file. As I think me being able to keep these is just unfair. I suppose if I really wanted to play like the highest total difficulty, I would consider new game plus. But if I just want to see what hard mode is like, I think having access to this is just actually broken. 
can't quite get over there. Yeah, like, if I'm allowed to get this, this much meter, that's kind of silly. Can I... Is there really not a single step I could do to shortcut there? That kind of sucks. So as long as I kill at least two enemies, I think I always get 200% meter back, which is very silly. So two mystery seeds. So let's go ahead and end this with our level up. Goodbye. That should level us. Yeah, that seems fair. So I'm curious what Kevin's final class will end up being like. I'll leave another save file so we can always remember what it used to be before we got powered up. I have been waiting. You have grown stronger, as I said. Now, you must prove how much. Come! Defeat me! Sure, I'll kill the king for no reason. Not fair! Too many allies! There's... <laughs> Ridiculous! This crowd is to bear witness to the fact that you have a long way yet to go. I am definitely about to get slapped. You wish to know about the instinct sphere. Defeat me first. Prove that you are a worthy leader. Come at me. Not the poofy pants brigade. Okay. I will not lose. Not to you. You have no fear. Good. Oh, is it a 1v1? No oh, that's awkward. For cowards. Because that means, sadly, that I'm not going to get my meter back, which is what I thought I was going to get. Oh, I didn't dodge far enough. Oh, it just continuously does damage. That's unfortunate. I thought the effect was over. That's right, it delays, it delays. I was about to do the same thing again. So yeah, that kind of sucks. If I was expecting a 1v1, I would have set up slightly differently, but that's fine. I just woke up my attack power while I'm waiting. Wow, that only did 300 more damage? That was actually very little damage increase. Will you give me, like, an opportunity to hit you? This is just getting kind of obnoxious. There's just so many hitboxes out that I can't hit them. You are doing better than expected. Well done, Kevin. Many battles since then. I am stronger now. And I will win. Uh, that was a lot of damage.
I should kill him. You think this is funny? Bonk. <laughs> I missed him by one hit. Oh well. Okay, so if we're not expecting a 1v1, I think I did okay. I had one heal because I misunderstood one attack. Whatever. <laughs> right chat, whatever. Also, keep in mind, we still didn't use anything other than a basic armor. Misjudged <laughs> you. Take that, King. Tell me about the instinct sphere. Very well. The instinct sphere has been passed down through generations of beastmen. It symbolizes leadership. You should take it. Whosoever has this sphere is a worthy leader. Got the instinct spear! I could be class four! We got you have improved, Kevin. But do not assume that was my full strength. Look out, chat, we got the matrix of leadership. King is strong, but I am stronger. And I will be strongest. You'll see. Ha! That is what I want in an heir. <laughs> I will be your opponent as often as you wish. Like, that fight was almost enjoyable. And you want to know why I mostly had fun with that boss fight? Because I wasn't micromanaging stupid ass AI. <laughs> I had fun. I learned his abilities. I only really had myself to blame on getting hit, and that is totally fair. And I think I did fine for A, not expecting a 1v1, and B, not having seen the fight before. So what new ability do we gain? 20% chance of defense decrease when using power attack? Who cares? What a, what a bad ability, I'm not using that. Chain Instinct Sphere. Can I... Oh, I can fly out of here. Does that mean every single fight is going to be a 1v1, or is this just special? Drum, 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 drum. Let's see. Can I immediately class upgrade with this? Yeah, that's fair. Hi, chat. Yeah, I definitely need. I'm the one that needs the class upgrade for sure. Can you imagine if I put on something like every time I kill, I get healed? How impossible it would be to die traveling in the overworld right now. So he can already kill people about his level in one button. And I'm gonna level again very soon. All I need is like one triple XP. I think because I can literally one shot the encounter, there's no reason for me to not do this. I hate to pick on such weak targets, but got some chocolates for later. Don't need those. I'm so sad we can't jump up here. I'm sure there's like some magic pixel. If you land on it, you could get the second jump. Because it just seems like so inconveniencing that there's just like this little path here and you just can't quite make it. Because there doesn't seem to be like a place I could jump from unless you could jump off of like this pillar edge or something weird. Because it's like the only thing that's close enough. So disappointing. I think post playthrough, I'm gonna go see if there's a place I could jump by looking at another playthrough. Like a speedrunner or something. 
because I would love to show that off so that we don't have to ever do that ever again. Almost leveled. Let's see. Who is switching classes? Try to switch your class. So it's allowing me to do so. Annihilator. One of the Thomas Grapple casts an Adler's can press their advantage like a Fatal Fist. Carve their attacks like an Enlightened, they can overpower any enemy. Attacks increase by 3% when normal attacks hit. Okay. High power energy shoots forward and deals massive damage. Huge attack increase. Sure. So it seems like we can just immediately upgrade. I might hold off on upgrading the other characters. I, I might as well just level Kevin because we're playing as him. And of course, he somehow loses his clothes as he levels. Thanks, Square Enix. Your shirt did not survive the upgrade. Two new ability slots, new moves, new class strike. So fortunately, we don't get more gauge, because if I ended up at like 500% meter, the game would just be beyond over. Nudity makes me stronger. You would think, based off of how Square Enix was dressing these characters, that would be the case. Um, do I even need anything? Like, honestly speaking, I don't know if I want any of these abilities. Oh, I guess I could gain more CS when I kill an enemy, because that's hilarious. Um... 32% of MP for all eyes every 10 seconds. I mean, I might as well just do this for now, just to heal them. So there are more strength upgrades. What about luck? Damage increased by 40% when hit by a critical hit. Eh. Spirit gains... 7% when doing damage. Reduce total amount of CS used by 35%. What? That's kind of insane. I think I want that one. I don't even think I care about strength of, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, the dam damage enemy with 30% or below health, 45% more. That is a pretty big damage increase. But what if more spammable CS? <laughs> yeah, I think when I take damage, I'm gonna gain more CS back. That might be more useful. And for their abilities... I'm gonna have you have the MP recover one. In case I have to play as her or something. Where was that at? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this seems fair. So we would've... So if I didn't split the stats, I would've been able to purely go into strength. But honestly, I think him only spending 35% towards the class strike. It's pretty silly. Let's see what the new ability is. So it seems like it does insane boss damage. Final flash, something like that. Oh, it needs all 400% meter. That's fair. So now definitely if I make it cheaper, I can infinite loop that. I'm gonna see it again, but this time I actually hit something with it. I only hit it with the tail end and it seemed to do quite a lot of damage. Watch out for the enemy! 
I wish I could re-aim it at the end, but that's fine. Yeah, I think him being able to reduce the cost by 35% is kind of bonkers. Because one, that lets me chain more class strikes. Two, I don't think I really need more strength. I think our damage is... I think our damage with him is good enough. I think being able to class strike is more important. So definitely see us on kill, plus cheaper ability is kind of nice. Oh, we got a new weapon, nice. That's somewhat relevant towards our damage. I'd leave it on her and maybe Hawkeye will get more luck boosters if I can. I don't think her abilities matter too much. We've gotten the important ones. Yeah, Kevin had the most stats spread out, so technically he would benefit the least from the class upgrade, because I can't dump them all in the new class. But on the flip side, him just getting stronger in general is really broken, so... Yeah, let's just get both of their abilities. I don't think it really matters which one I get first. As long as we have Kevin to one-shot everything, I don't think it matters. Loyal sphere. Did we have something like that at home? It's not here! Now what do we do? Yeah. Someone must have gotten it out of the fortress. And I mean every last Luger. Curses! Fight? Not good. Sounds like Jessica has some idea of what's happened, at least. But she only wants to talk to Hawkeye about it. <laughs> She's way more stubborn than people give her credit for. Brother! Ah! Uh you have good timing! We got a big problem! The whole fortress is in an uproar! But before I let the cat out of the bag, Mew should talk to Jessica. She's in the audience chamber. <sighs> I thought maybe I could learn more about the Loyal Sphere here. <sighs> Come on, what's happened? Like how I haven't really been here before, so the game is like, here's how to get there. Rip our map. Please. What happened here? It's like they applied the blur tool. Like, this rock looks fine. That one looks terrible. What happened? It's weird because when I move, it looks okay, but when I stop moving, it looks bad. I wonder why they did that. Can I- can I not jump down there? Why? Aim, please. <laughs> you know, we never found that uh, treasure room. Unless this is supposed to be the remake's treasure room. In the SNES version, when we were going into the castle, on the right side, there was, like, a huge treasure room, but it required, like, another room to open it. Unless that is where this is. Hmm. It required us to kind of, like, go up and back, and then we can, like, 
oversee where their treasure room was. Why did they get rid of that? What was wrong with that design before? Well, I guess we'll talk to Jessica. Begrudgingly. It's okay. <laughs> you had me worried, you know? <laughs> Feeling better? Then would you mind telling me what's going on? What happened here? Niccolo has been rallying the rest of Navarro, trying to rebuild the guild, but... All the money and treasure we've collected over the years is nowhere to be found. I think my brother hid it somewhere for safekeeping once he noticed that something was wrong with Papa. She has a brother? And Eagle took it? Well, he was always quick on the uptake. Oh, it's Eagle. Oof. So then... Eagle told me to ask for your help if something ever happened to him. He said something about searching in Fiery Gorge? <laughs> if most of the treasure is missing, that means... Even if the Loyal Sphere is here like Grand Qua predicted, it's probably hidden away with the rest of the hall. Guess that means I've got errands to run. I'll keep an eye out for the Sphere while I'm getting the missing treasure back. Be back soon, Jessica. I've got a real live treasure hunt waiting for me in Fiery Gorge. Well, I guess we'll leave now. Quite the naming convention, yeah. I mean, I mean, their leader was Flamecon, so, you know, I'm not really expecting a lot when it comes to names. My expectations are very low, Chad. Well, I don't see the point in finding the other treasure chests because the area does not seem to scale up, so we'll just move on immediately to the next area where I will absolutely wombo combo one-shot everything. Oops. Wait, what? Oh, the statue. I was like, what do you want me to do? The path is open. I'm gonna just do this to save us some time. I think I'm gonna say no to the walk, but hey, we unlocked the path back. I don't think I'll ever use it again, but you know, it's there. Unless the story requires me to revisit or something weird. I plan on just taking the sphere and leaving, right chat? <laughs> You're on your own game. Wow, look how, look how unfair this area is, chat. Hmm. Well, I have a wide variety. You're welcome. Come again. Welcome again. Yeah, I don't think I really need additional weapons or armor. I just felt like seeing if they had anything new to say. I'm sure there's one more upgrade to go to. I don't think it matters. Where to look? The treasure could be anywhere. Hawkeye, are you certain a treasure trove so large could be here? Don't worry, I have a hunch. Let's keep moving. Where is it at? Southern path, okay. That was like one of the few times I needed to check my map. Oh, look, chat. They're trying to ambush me with ninja. That's disappointing. Oh, 
continue on our journey as planned. Ooh, I want payback upgraded so bad. I get another victory CS on him. Already have both. Never mind. Just trying to see if I could gain more. What? That one was on me. I will not fall. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. No time for that. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. There we go. That time they gained a ton of CS. That's what I was looking for. Ooh, 7,000 experience. Not bad. Let us work together to defeat the enemy. We overpowered the enemy. No chance. So Risa is actually not too far from leveling again. I'm not sure what level the boss will be at that we fight later. So I'm assuming we'll unlock a new dungeon at some point. Whatever. Watch out for the enemy. Wow, even through his armor, he just gets one shot. Oh, come on. How did I not make it through there? That's so BS. It clipped me at like the tail end. So unfortunate. Whatever. Watch out for the enemy. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Here. That was hardly worth the trouble. <laughs> they healed me. I think I really needed that, but okay. Dangerous. Yeah, this is fair. With the strength, I can make a difference. Leveling Hawkeye could make a difference, actually. But I don't think I'm gonna get another encounter, sadly. See, something tells me unless this is a 1v1, it should be a very easy clear. Use a candy on him just in case I have to fight as him. Should work. Here. There we go, just in case. Here. Look closely. There's an etched bird's eye marking in the rock face. Stand back. I just gotta. Huh? Indrins just appeared. Wow. I had no idea that thieves were capable of this. Well, I only noticed the mark because I was looking for it. What do you mean you only noticed the mark? It's huge! Oh, well, looking for a sign from Eagle. <laughs> He's the best thief I know. It's like as big as our head! How would you not see it? I can practically smell the treasure from here. Let's go! But also, her, her voice acting. It's a huge trap, you know. Guess it has to match the scale of the treasure it's protecting. <laughs> her voice was something else there. Yeah, definitely a dot dot dot. Wow, I can't believe they're capable of leaving this really obvious symbol. I guess this is a throwback to the treasure hoard comment I made before. So, what are we fighting? Hmm. Huh? A uh, Hawkeye? We must take this treasure back to Navarro as soon as possible. Wait, hang on! <sighs> Rookies. This is Eagle's hidden treasure we're talking about. There's no way it's not trapped. If the target seems too good to be true, it probably is. Too late now. Come on, everyone! Kinda of reminds me of like a giant Mario Party enemy. Give me a break. Gee, thanks, Eagle. Sure didn't want anyone to touch this stuff. I will not 
Hmm. Seems to have no weaknesses. Oh, I was trying to hit the class strike. How did she die? I'm just gonna class strike through everything. I don't know why they died. Right, Chad? I'm not really sure why they died. That fight was... That fight was pretty easy. That was definitely much easier than the Ludgar fight, for sure. Our allies are just dumb. Some trap. Thanks a lot, Eagle. There's no way we can carry all this treasure back by ourselves. Huh? Is this? Uh huh. This has got to be that loyal sphere that Grand Claw mentioned. Eagle? Oh no, the competent voice actor's back. Oh, if you're seeing this message, I must already be gone from this world this treasure should go toward fulfilling my sister's dream for the future but jessica must stop this lawless scavenging that the nabarlin have fallen prey to it's time for you to walk a path that's righteous and true i'm counting on you to help jessica with this you're basically family after all and you've always been her favorite. She'll listen to you. Please, Hawkeye, consider it a final request from your closest friend. This is all I can do for her now. If for some reason I'm still alive when you see this, forget I said anything. I'll talk to Jessica myself later. Farewell, Hawkeye. No one can erase the days we spent together. They were my greatest treasure. Idiot! You always ask so much of me. You can't just leave me here with this eagle. You idiot! The Loyal Sphere. At least with this, I can reach Class 4. Time to go back to Jessica and let everyone know where the treasure is. One of the eagles granted a new ability. Cover 1% MP when a normal attack hits. That's not bad for him, I guess. I don't really need it. Um... Oh, since the Mana Stone's broke, I guess I would only be able to level up in the Sanctuary. Poor Reese. So useless. <laughs> She's so bad. Oh, I could just play me drum right from here. That's good. She just got absolutely dunked on. I mean, she still gets boss XP in the end, so I don't think I'm honestly going to revive them at all. Our AI has come down with a serious case of the stupids, so there's only so much I could do to help them. 
I think I got hit once, maybe, in that boss fight. Like, again, that boss fight is was not hard. <laughs> Do you know where we can find the Kind Sphere, Reese? I suppose Alma might have an idea. She was a trusted friend of my parents, after all. Oh my gosh, they didn't entrust it to Elliot? That's such a good decision. Good for them, chat. Good for them for not giving it to him. Oh my, your highness. How are you fairy? Alma, have you ever heard talk of something called the Kind Sphere? It may be a keepsake of my father's or perhaps an heirloom. An heirloom? Yes, yes, I may have an idea. His late majesty, King Joster, once told me that his crowning ceremony took place in the Somnosa Meadow. The Somnosa Meadow? As I heard it, a special royal artifact used in the crowning ceremonies of Laurent's kings and queens is enshrined there. And I believe it was called the Kind Sphere. Reese! Good instincts! Huh. Glad this trip wasn't a waste of time. <laughs> I am relieved. Shall we travel to the Somnosa Meadow? Check something on him real quick. Oops. Okay. Never mind. Don't see anything of interest. <clears throat> I thought we got another ability last time, and I was like, never mind. Just the MP thing that I don't care about. the class items. Actually, can I just fly me drum from here? I can. I think I'm not even bothering to heal Reese. Like, I just don't even care. She's she's really good, like, as a support character, but man, she is just too dumb to live. I think I need to play with, like, tanks and healers. Maybe I'll enjoy the game more if that happens. I missed where it said it wanted me to go. But either way, I think I'm gonna stop here briefly. I'm assuming it wants us to go to where the Amazonians are, where the wind or gust hall, one of the above. Does your shop ever improve? Well, Not really. Oh, that. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry, we're not using the starting armor in the game. My bad, I slightly lied. I had a feeling I got one upgrade by accident. Oh no, I'm I'm taking five less damage than base armor. We're still using base armor on the other characters, though. Good enough, chat. Yeah, I had a feeling it might be the MSM place. All of us, together. Do I really not have enough for it? That's so sad. We're getting too good for these guys. As soon as it hits nighttime, the game is over. 
You can't tell me otherwise. We weren't even at max power in that other boss fight, as a reminder. Oh, they healed Reese. It was funny leaving her at 1 HP. Well, back to the fall asleep flower field. My father's crowning ceremony took place here, but... Huh. Where could the kind sphere be? Uh, what? Hmm. Something's coming. Careful! <laughs> I cannot believe this is happening! <laughs> no. The kind sphere was the I'm sorry. Of my the voice acting chat got me. My father. I will not give in. I can't believe this is happening, she says. Although the boss is also very goofy. To be fair, it's a very goofy boss. I don't like that I can't use ally commands right away. But it's kind of unfortunate. You absorb wood damage. Do you have any weaknesses? Nope. Well, then I guess I'll just throw the hatchet. Oh, I didn't have enough for the other ability. That sucks. That sucks. I thought I had enough. Do you mind just reviving? I took a lot of damage there because I, I thought I was uh, just going to immediately pop the first class gauge, but that was not to be the case. Also, that hitbox is not where the game shows it is. Dodge right as I was gonna kill it. That's unfortunate. Alright, so the boss got another healing item from me, I guess. You got me, I guess. Question mark. Whatever. Still not a hard boss battle. Our allies died. That's their fault. You can't believe it? Mm hmm. Buzz. What is it? Do you think it's the kind sphere? Oh, it. It must have been protecting the kind sphere. <laughs> That's right. That we did wrong. I regret our violent actions. <laughs> Hurt, but alive. It will get better. Don't worry, Reese. Reese, uh. You need to make sure that's the sphere we came for. Of course. This feeling... It feels like the spirits of my father and mother are flowing through me. Their kindness. Father? And mother. You have grown so much, Reese. I see you took care of Elliot as best you could, even in my absence. Such a heavy responsibility for a child. I am so grateful, Reese. You did so much on your own, despite your young age. I fear I relied too heavily on you, Reese. Forgive me. No. No. 
There is nothing to forgive. I have not once regretted my choices. I see. Thank you. Reese, I am sorry. We must leave this realm soon. Please, continue to take care of your brother. You heard it. Kill the brother. May the winds always blow favorably upon you. Also, there's something about the Blind King telling us he sees that I don't quite trust. up to your memories both as your daughter and the princess of Laurent watch over me with Laurent's legendary kind sphere I will be able to progress to class four this is natural dialogue I am so believe me taken up so much of our time shall we be off I like that she says that and it was like literally the shortest of the side things that we did for five percent after winning a battle. Eh, that's not strong enough. If it was ten percent, maybe. Now you found all the class items. Let's go back to Grand Croix. Barry really wanted to deliver that line. I'm just gonna go get the class upgrade. Hopefully, we'd skip whatever he's trying to tell us. Okay, so let's get the upgrade and then we'll presumably go to the final dungeon. Leading to the final true boss question mark question mark. So before then, time to blow everything up. Stopping me from running. Thanks. Appreciate it. We should work together to defeat this threat. <laughs> I'm not too far off from another level up, so I think it is worth trying to level with Kevin. We have earned a rest. Yeah, see, this long walk just seems kind of unnecessary. Man, I gotta learn how to skip that. Or go out of bounds. <laughs> Next playthrough, I'm gonna try to look up some tech chat. I'm not sure how broken we can make the game. We found a couple of ledge shortcuts where I definitely went where I'm not intended. But I think we could do more. Yeah, like, I have a feeling we can clip out of bounds here. But we just like, there's like a couple of spots I was really curious if we could. So that's where I want to watch what happens. Or if there's some like weird movement tech I don't know about that aids in clipping out of bounds, that'd be good. Who is switching classes? Oh, you want to wait? Oh, my bad. I keep forgetting on this. What? Because I got tired of jump and confirm being on the same button, I flipped them. Warden Keep, one of Tombo's Thief class, Warden Keeps out of the sports skills of a nomad, or sell tax of a road, and abilities to strengthen their party. Stat decrease effects swap for stat increase. I don't really know what that means. Strike after strike of thrown hidden weapons deal massive damage to enemy. More importantly, just stat increases. I think that matters to me a bit more. Let's see what horrible outfit he ends up in. Wait, he got more clothes? Wait, he went the opposite direction. He got... He got depowered, chat. 
Kevin, meanwhile, lost all of his clothing. Apparently, it went to Hawkeye. Yeah, see? Exactly. What? That's not how power-ups work. Who is switching classes? I have a feeling they're gonna give her something ultra skimpy. I'm gonna roll my eyes when it happens. I'm not gonna accept the outfit if it's like that, though. Please actually wear clothes. It, I honestly don't think it's as bad as the other one, but it's not great. Brunhilder, one of the top most Amazon classes, Brunhilders can inhibit their enemies like a friend or a knight and have the attack power of a Dragon Master. Kind of be an outmatch and sure battle know-how. At 30% of CS gauge for random ally when player uses class strike? Uh, okay. Uh, chat, okay. <laughs> well, it's over. Oh, it thinks I was wearing this. So, I mean, compared to that, chat, like, that's pretty bad. That's a little better, but still not great. Anyway, we're gonna go, we're gonna go tell her to put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, no thank you. <laughs> I know, big sigh. Oh, good, it snapped it to what I was using already. That's good. I mean, like, Kevin could get away with being partially shirtless. He at least is wearing pants and other things. She's wearing, like, literally nothing. It's kind of terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and get payback. Oh, we're one point away from payback. That is so sad. What can we gain from this? Attack boost all? All I think attack increased by 10%. That seems pretty good. Look at all these stamina skills I'll never use. Right, Chad? Oh, that's so cute. I'm never using them. Hey, Chad, did you remember he had int skills? Because they're not relevant. I'm not taking them. Cover 5% of MP when receiving damage. Wow, this tree sucks. I would just like to say spirit bad, stamina bad, int pretty bad. I think luck is where it's at. Critical damage. Damage decreased by 40% when hit by critical. That's fine. Very hard for enemies to target. Luck up. Well, given that his damage is only luck based, I think this is just a massive damage increase. So he's just capped. Just straight up. So let's give him luck boost if we can. Critical damage 2. Let's give him Enigma 2 so he's not targeted very often. Uh, let's see if we can give him the other training ability real quick. Oh, uh, so you can't get quite to boost all. We might as well just give him strength up, though. So overall, his auto attack damage is higher, and his spells are at max damage. How about you? Did you get anything interesting? Base attack increased by 40, defense decreased by 40. That's pretty good. Defense doesn't matter in this game. Set down, decrease MP. Uh, don't think I care about those. Limited MP needed for summoning increased by 20, increases damage by 35%. Ooh. Decrease MP use by. Wait. <laughs> so I can basically just have spammable abilities. I have to say, I'm not really impressed with hers other than attacker I could use to give to another character. don't think most of this is really relevant. So Spirit, we don't really need at all unless I'm going to get CS. Because I think Int determines our summon damage. And it being cheaper here is probably better. So I guess I'll do this for making her spam her abilities more often. But yeah, as I expected, she probably had the least impressive upgrades. And I, I was right. I don't really care about any of these. I mean, I guess it can do auto-heal for people if I really want to, because she she has, like, literally nothing of worth. 
So I probably want to get the strength up one so she starts buffing damage to everybody. Could give her HP boost if I want to. But at this point, I don't think it really matters. Um... I guess... I'm not really impressed with her abilities. I think the other characters just got much better. Okay. Now, what I, what I do want to see... Is with this huge luck difference, how much damage is he doing now to regular enemies before we fly away? I kind of want to know. Like, is he legit one-shotting right now? That's pretty strong. I mean, it's not quite a one shot, but it's pretty good. I'm not used to having this much money saved up. This If only I could make the AI aggressively use it, then it would be amazing. So it looks like he can one shot with that, I guess. He's the character that would benefit from MP saver, I think, unless I do a lot of uh, other abilities. So sadly, I don't think he has anything that reduces his MP. So I'm assuming maybe he was supposed to be paired with Angela, maybe. So it'd be like Rogue plus him so that both of them would do in and then maybe Reese would be there to stat down for them. Maybe that was the intended team. I guess we'll find out later. Uh, how much damage are you doing with your summon, out of curiosity? Watch out for the enemy! Devastation of Hex, it's rain down! Go! Of it's okay. Just weak enemies. So yeah, the constant slow MP regen might help us. It's clearly completely inferior to class strikes, but the fact that I could use it multiple times makes it not bad. I like it the game then tells us to go back to the other place to learn our class skills. I'm gonna wave my finger, right chat? Of your class items. With the strength of class four, you may be able to defeat Annis the Witch. No, you must. Now that Annis has awakened, I do not know how or when she will begin sowing chaos. Do not delay. You must go to where Annis is hiding. <laughs> oh, what? Heard a laugh? I could, I could sense, sense someone, someone honing in on my, my presence, presence, but I, I never expected, expected you, Grand Croix. <laughs> you pitiful mortals seek, seek to defy me. me. How, How quaint. A diversion, diversion from annihilating the planet could be enjoyable. Come, Come amuse me. <laughs> The time for delays is past. The fate of the world is in your hands. Please. We've gained a new ability from his wishes. Over 5 MP for all eyes every 5 seconds. Wow, that's... Wow. Okay, if I'm allowed to carry this over into New Game Plus, Chow would absolutely riot. That is really stupid and busted. Did they really need to give me this many strong abilities? Like, it just completely invalidates a lot of what we've received so far.
That is a choice. Um, anything I even want to bother giving him at all? So his ability doesn't count as magic attack. We learned that last time. Um... Sure, we'll give him random buffs. I don't think most of these abilities matter at all. We're so overpowered right now. Yeah, literally being able to regen after battle and in mid-battle. Pretty unfair. So I think at this point I don't need to worry about anything. Let alone buy armor upgrades. Because, you know, that'd be silly. Why would we do that? So now we're going to the opposite shadow in the sky. Place smells like death. Our enemy, Annis the Witch, is ahead. Come on, time to fight a witch. <laughs> Are they like action posing for a second there? Why did it linger there? Time to find the witch. Super pose. So we haven't unlocked a new game plus yet, but I know it exists. So maybe we have to beat this and then this will let us choose like a new difficulty. I'll probably still just go back to hard mode. Can make her place look however she wants. These auras are strong. It will not be easy to get to Annis. Stay sharp. Come on. There we go. Let us work together. We have improved greatly. Well, chat, this seems pretty one. Twenty-seven treasure chests. Excuse me. Why are there that many? Oh, we have an enemy that isn't instantly killed by me. Oh, I got snowmanned. Stupid Kettlekin, you're too tanky. Your armor prevents me from one-shotting you. There's a treasure chest. Yeah, it's more that initial armor preventing the damage stops me from one-shotting. Every other enemy seems to die pretty quickly. Rainbow item seed, eh. I'm not going back for it. I'm sorry, I don't really care what we get from those. I'm just more curious if there's like new accessories or something unique to this area. and subconsciousness of others. Really? Which was very strong. I feared that was it for us yeah. all. <laughs> oh, I can't jump over this? Unfortunate. I cannot wait till I get reduced class strike bonuses. Uh -huh. 
I guess with our new setup, what I should do... Oh. oh, I was still fighting. I was wondering why I couldn't do anything there. Let's just make them disregard MP usage. And I don't care about them conserving meter at all. Maybe something like that. I think we're just raising her in. Hmm. Every two percent every ten seconds. Guess I could get rid of. Mana Blessing and give her MP Saver. Get rid of this for Mana Blessing, because I don't really care about his other ability. So just in case I have more MP abilities spread across more characters, might be more useful. So we're still overleveled for this area. But I think we could blame the game for that. That's what happens when you get 7,000 experience, bro. So your luck is already maxed, so we might as well just go for attack boost all. Which would actually be pretty important for me. But I don't think it matters for the other character so much. Because anything that scales this damage higher means that it's basically over. Aww, is it over? Yeah. That's disappointing. So let's see what this chest is. If anything interesting. Rainbow item seed. Eh. Not not anything I care about. Oh, what's this? Oh, and the walnut. We don't need those either. So hopefully with telling them to be very aggressive, they'll actually use their spells, question mark. Why is this fight still continuing? What's happening? Oh, they're using their level fours? Oh, that's messed up. The enemy was crazy dead. I think Jack could agree. Holy, they just level four that one enemy. Maybe I'll tell them to two down the class strike a little bit. I don't think I need them level fouring randomly. It's a little overkill. A barrier is blocking the path. Guess I'll go this way. Goodbye, everything near me. Well, we can see her level four. And again, we're regening so much MP that I think Rogue class skill is now just free. Is in his stuff costing 24, but I regenerate like five every five seconds is kind of silly. Oh, I opened the wrong barrier. I guess there's another switch over here I didn't see. Yeah, there it is. And just imagine, Chad, the higher luck we get with this character, the more likely we crit. Just shake your head. It's over. At this point, we're just cruise control to the end. I can literally one button every encounter except for the Tin Man. Speaking of which. I guess if we don't crit the last two hits, the knight might live.
So sadly, we never really did the low on health strategy to play as him. So we didn't really take advantage of our class abilities per se. Imp Ring, is that any good? Fairy Choker's defense, we don't care about that. Imp Ring. Oh, it's just freeze, whatever. Uh, And we could get Payback. Then I don't need any of the other abilities here. Then it just goes towards Strength, I think. There we go, we improved our damage. Get rid of one victory CS, maybe. We have attacker from her, which is helping us do damage. Damage enemy with 30% or below, we get more damage, which is really good. I guess I don't really get hit that often. Maybe it make more sense for me to get payback. So let's see how cheap this ability is now. So I just used, I think, a level 3 for 100 meter. That's kind of that's kind of broken on this character. I'm a witness again. I'm going to be 400%. Yeah, we use 120% meter only, chat. That's something. So yeah, we're we're good. We could probably afford to get more damage. So we get almost two free uses of this every battle now, because we gain 200% meter. It only costs 120, and he gets meter for killing. Oh boy, he's going overboard, chat. And the funny thing is, I made her rebuild meter because I was just rapid attacking. So her level 4 seems to stunlock the enemy for an eternity. So if they can actually actively use that versus a boss, our total potential damage will be completely busted. Which I'm looking forward to. I want to see that. It is unwise to get in our way. Reminder, we basically have three level 2s and level 1s now. So this fight is over. Oh, he's level 4-ing? Nice. Might as well just get more meter then. My aim was true, and my power unbeatable. It is unwise to get Goodbye. Oh, the enemy got pushed out of the rage. Goodbye. Okay, so now we're one-shotting the Dark Knight. Kind of unfair. GG chat, it's over. We have the setup as far as I'm concerned. This is definitely the I delete enemies and now I do bonus damage versus bosses. I lowered my D- actually, you know what? That's an important point chat. I purposely lowered my defense by 30. Do you even really notice it at all? I feel like I'm barely taking more than our allies. I feel like it has not really been a relevant trade-off at all. The area is clear of threats. We have earned a rest. Sort of mind chat that that's there. I think I missed the chest, but whatever. Yeah, just the raw strength right now is just overwhelming the enemy. Increase leveling might be important. I would like to get her other ability at some point. Because if she unlocks uh, attacker 2, that'd actually be huge for us. So I don't think I really need unlimited. Well, I guess I could get unlimited just to buffer damage more. I guess that's fine to get. Because I, I, it just means I probably won't get the melee one. For the end, so I could have 
decreased my defense by 70 but gone up 70 attack which i think is pretty powerful given that we're only getting at most like literally 40 from a class level at most just get double class bonus Ironically, telling them to use class strikes is slowing down combat quite a bit, <laughs> rather than speeding it up due to the cinematics. Fortunately, we were able to get back to this chest. Mimic. So it only costs 80% to do this one, but I think chat would agree is one of our most spammed abilities. A level 1 not even costing 50 is insane. So combine it with that rapid slash to get meter, it's basically over. You wish you'd never cross paths with us. Make no mistake. I'm stronger now. Watch out for the enemy! I mean, what do you think, Chad? Is this is this fair and is this fair in game balance? Can we agree that the game is now completely busted? I don't think I can really die in normal combat. It'd be very impressive if I did die. Oh no, she's using her level four, Chad. And again, I'm helping her rebuild meter. So she gained almost 40% meter during that entire combo. Is it possible for her to get better stuff, or is that only... Okay, so not everybody gets enhanced version of payback. So that's Kevin's version. He does have, like, super payback. Which, to be fair, is really busted. It definitely breaks the game wide open, only paying 40% uh, or so of the required meter. And then immediately getting meter back on kill is insane. Trouble. Welcome, Granite Knight. Hope you're doing well. So we can officially say it fell off the difficulty cliff. Are there, like, ways to go back quicker? Or are we just continually going in one, one dungeon after another? Oh, the enemy's out of range. That's so sad. I should have waited. So yeah, if the AI does that on a boss fight, I think it's GG. Because I could do so much damage into my own class strike. It's our first save point in a while. We're now level 67, because life is fair. Can you imagine if we fought the Lich right now, chat? I think we would slam dunk the Lich. I I just I'm just like to state, like, he already wasn't hard, but like, what if I had this? Like over like 50 more damage a hit? GG chat. There we go. We're getting our strength up, chat. Because you know I need more damage. How is this game? It's okay. I, I would say the big downside is that normal difficulty is definitely too easy. Um, A lot of the difficulty is just your AI being really stupid. So if you're willing to kind of put up with the absolute stupidity of the AI, then you'll have a good time. If you're expecting them to be as competent as like a Tales game or like even East to some extent, I feel like you're going to be disappointed. Combat's also pretty basic. I'm having fun because I'm at the point of the game where I'm literally just one-shotting everything. Uh, let's just attack over this and ignore that. Welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well. 
East and Tales are the games that reinvigorated my love of JRPGs a few years ago. Yeah, I definitely like East much, much more in comparison. Well, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. We'll probably play Tales at some point. Once we're done with the Mana series. We played, uh... Sword of Mana... Or excuse me, Adventures of... No. I have to think. There's so many... Final Fantasy Adventures. Sorry, there's so many versions of that game. Uh, Secret of Mana. We did Trials of Mana. We, we're now on Trials of Mana Remake. And then we're probably going to do Legend of Mana into maybe more Tales games. I'm kind of asking what are the games you highly recommend. I did start with through five. Um, you played Star Ocean one through five. I was not a big fan of four, so I can't say I played through five specifically. Have you tried other uh, Tri Ace games? Out of curiosity, like Valkyrie Profile one. Although, if you're going to do that one, I would recommend uh, probably a guide for hard mode, because some of those dungeons are kind of unfun. The rest of the game is very amazing, though. Ironically, hard mode is the easiest difficulty. Curses. I want to see you fall like this, even if it is an illusion. You didn't do Valkyrie Profile. Valkyrie Profile 1 on PS1. Beautiful, beautiful artwork, beautiful voice acting. Classic. Hard mode unfortunately adds a lot of puzzle dungeons. Some are not bad, but if you're not, if you don't like that kind of thing, it's probably better to just check it. I really like the recruitable characters in that game. Fantastic combat system. Fantastic. I'm sure chat has their favorite quotes. We've taken a few of the voice quotes from that game and put it into the stream. If we ever do Star Ocean, the second story, I might do some from there at some point. Just because that game has very goofy sound clips comparatively. Any more modern ones, I suggest? Um, I would have to think about that a little more. Most of the ones I play are older. I don't play a lot of more recent games, to be honest. Aww, is it over? That's disappointing. Like, I, like I don't know. Do you consider things like DS games or stuff like that in your interest? Yeah, I've never played the remake. I only played the original PlayStation One game. I, I never owned a PSP, so I never got to the other ones. Not DS, unfortunately. Yeah, without an emulator, you can't play those. As I was going to say, I'm a big fan of the Etrian series, Etrian Mystery Dungeon, Radiant Historia. Make no mistake. I'm uh, I mean, if you're going for, if you're going for more, you don't like 3DS emulator stuff, that's fair. So do you like turn-based games, RPGs, or just action RPGs? Because that's also where I'm not as certain where to recommend something to you. One of these. We played through Suikoden. Suikoden 5 was like one of the best games of all time. Uh, Shadow Hearts 2 was phenomenal. I guess we're making progress with the dungeon. I'll avoid combat if I don't need it. Turn base or action is fine. Yeah, I would highly recommend Suikoden in series if you can get that. We played uh, Suikoden in 5. What a fantastic game minus the war battles. War battles were bad. I seem to have landed on a platform I can't do anything from. That's unfortunate. I think Gujian 3 was probably the only semi-recent game RPG-wise I played, aside from this one. That was easily one of my favorite games on Steam. Although, requirements to run that might be a bit difficult. 
where do you want me to go? So... I think I go... Wait, what happens if I jump on the far one? Hold on a second. I'm confused. Where does this one go? <laughs> Am I making a puzzle decision without seeing where this goes? Because that's kind of unfair. Oh, that's kind of unfair. Wish I saw that earlier. Oh well, let's get the money. Tried the Saga games. Those are kind of love it or hate it. Those are kind of more difficult to recommend. Oh, I could. I thought there was a. Oh, I thought there was a jump pad to that one. I misunderstood from the distance. Okay, so I don't think there's any path I could take to the left that makes progress. So let's just go back to the middle. Because again, I couldn't quite see that platform. That was rude. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would have to think about it. It's again, like I don't play like a lot of more modern games. I definitely don't play anything like from this year, last year, for the most part. I have mostly stuck to the PS3 era and before. So anything after that, I'm just kind of like question marks. I like Hades, but that could be hit or miss. Depends on if you like Roblox games or not. Alright, so this should eventually lead me to where I need to go. So if I go forward, it makes me go left, which make, make me go up and then right and then over. I think this is the right way. If I go to the right, I think I just get a treasure or something, and it's not worth our time. Riveting puzzles. So yeah, I think from that standpoint... I think we played a lot of our quote-unquote favorite games. There's some games that are kind of like jank. They're, they're harder to recommend. They're like, you have to have either have nostalgia for them or high tolerance for jank. And Valkyrie Profile has a little bit of jank to it. It's not as bad if you have a walkthrough for the puzzle dungeon, but uh, otherwise, fantastic game start to finish. I don't recommend the sequel to that game though. That was very disappointing sequel wise. <laughs> sure chat remembers the dragon orb, quote them. All right, let's just kill these guys real quick. <laughs> yeah, VP2. I don't know, Chad. Are there any other favorite games you've seen on stream that you'd recommend? Or even games in general? Is it easier for me to comment on a game I've played but just not thinking about actively? So, do I have to take damage here or is there a way around this? I mean, I'll step through it. I mean, I, I'm wearing my poison immunity, so I don't need to worry about this that badly. Yeah, I'm just mentally going through like games we played on stream. Like I wouldn't recommend the Nino Kuni series. Zestaria we recommend only in an ironic sense. It is by far it is a very bad Tales game, but it is funny. Berseria is definitely my favorite. Although I do like Tales of Destiny, despite it being kind of basic. Because I probably grew up playing more Game Boy games than anything else. I played an okay amount of like PlayStation games. Like Shadow Hearts 1 can be love or hate it. Some people don't like it. I definitely think the sequel to it is fantastic. But it's a little harder to get into that one without having played the first one. Come on, meter gain. Come on, meter gain. There we go. There is our meter gain. Perish. Tales of Legend is the worst I played. Oh, I have a funny story about that. That game is completely broken. Remind me to show that on stream one day when I have my PS3 set up. When we go back to playing Tales, just remind me to try showing you Legendia. It is a horrible mess on the PS3. 
like one of their faces is like stuck to the camera because it doesn't it doesn't emulate the game properly on the PS3. So when you walk, their face like touches all the diagonals of the screen. It's it, but it's not in like a in a traditional sense. It's like inverted and then like the hair is going through its chin and then its head is upside down. It's like it's very bizarre. Not to mention completely unplayable. <laughs> but I, maybe we'll show off the intro and I'll be like, what is going on? Abyss is also kind of like that. Abyss is like one of the most finicky, aside from Legendia. Like on the PS3, I got literal soft locks. It, it is literally not possible for me to beat Abyss because it is a soft lock. So I, so even if chat likes that game, which I don't, I'm not able to beat that for you on stream. Goodbye, enemies. I like how the ghost was out of range and then it walked into me. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna get a couple kills here because we're very close to unlocking a final ability. And as you can see, we have a setup going where our class strikes one shot basically everything. I gave her almost 100% meter in that combo. That seemed fair. Just want to say, you never bother me again. I, I don't have that feeling towards a lot of games. I do have a couple of hate playthroughs. Terranigma is the is the one that comes to mind with that one. I like a lot of old school SNES games, but not necessarily the RPGs. I don't think the RPGs for the most part have held up super well on SNES, unless they're more in like action platformer side of things. Like, games like Mega Man X, timeless. That will continue to be a fantastic game from now until the end of time. Secret of Mana and the like. Very rough. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Goodbye, all the enemies near me. I can make a difference. Look at Risa, she can make a difference, and I'm like, can you? And you though? Oh, you got unlimited. Maybe you'll make a difference now. I guess I should equip unlimited. What do I want to get rid of? Um. Payback reduction. I guess it doesn't really matter. But can I get rid of one of these abilities over the other ones? Do I care about item drop rate anymore? I don't think I do. Let's get rid of that. Let's take a... Uh... Oh wait, she doesn't need HP boost. <laughs> Silly me, that's easier to get rid of. She's got enough health. Let's take her with... Wherever that other ability is. A magic switch. Uh... Unlimited, there we go. So she, her move already costs 50% less, so it costing 35% more or whatever does not matter at all. To just be cancelled out. Yeah, Symphony is another one where... I understand why people like it, but I just don't like the characters. Just like, I enjoy Graces, but I understand that people don't like the characters. Like, for me, it goes either way. I totally get it. I don't even need to be told why if people don't like Graces. I'm like, no, I get it. But, uh, yeah, so far for me, Berseria forever, pretty much. What a game. Um, probably strength up. Oh, he actually got attack boost all. That's actually huge. Uh, let's get rid of regular lucky find because I don't think I care about items anymore. So let's increase everybody's damage because that's fair. Yeah, Grace's combat was really fun. I feel like that one of the big flaws with Grace's, other than the terrible, terrible plot, um. I really wish the stuff that was in the expansion of the game was in the core game. So for even for people that haven't played like a lot of Tales games, like to be told that like mystic arts aren't a thing until the expansion is a very weird statement, even if you've never played that game before. Like why wait until like the last five hours of the game to unlock a mechanic that exists in 
I think almost literally all of them. <laughs> it's very weird. Like, and by and by mystic arts, I mean more the combined arts, not the normal attacks. Like the the high oogies or whatever they call them, the oogas. <laughs> So it's just weird to me where it's just like, I think outside of Tales of, well, even Tales of Destiny kind of has them. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a thing since at least Symphonia. Tales of Destiny 2 kind of had them, but I think it was more refined by the time it got to Symphonia and beyond. Definitely by Zillia and such it had them. And Symphonia. So what does this do? Or is this just take me back to the beginning? Imagine this is a shortcut. <laughs> I wonder if that means I could cheat and go to the other wharf. Kind of wondering now. So I got a new weapon. I guess I could see what that does for us. Yeah, it kind of had- yeah, exactly. I was like, it kind of did. Like, I would have considered Phoenix or, like, Spirit Bomb in there. Any of the cinematic ones that potentially pause the screen. Then in other games, you could chain them together. Uh, Gotta repeat. He still hasn't received an upgrade. She got her weapon increased, though. <laughs> I mean, I could increase my armor, but I don't care. I'm just curious. Aww, oh, could you imagine, if only? Okay, so this explains how you're going to get little checkpoints along the way, but it also means that we're probably almost done. So we're just going to keep going. We should be done with the post-game content kind of soon. Yeah, because I really liked the the Mystic Art combos that were in Graces. It's just a shame that it took so long to get to them. Although I will say it has one of my least favorite boss fights in the game. That, uh, that clone fight was awful on the difficulty I was playing on. What a what a ridiculous difficulty jump. If we play that again, I'm not making that mistake. Because I played that game on max difficulty all the way through. And that was mostly fine, except for the clone fight. The clone fight was actually abysmal. That actually made me sad. I was like, I might have to tune down the difficulty. I'm just getting legit one shot with endgame gear. It's not very fair. It's hard enough dodging, like, one boss's entire attack chain, let alone four bosses. But whatever. So now the enemies have caught up to us in level. So the game definitely expected us to grind. Which we kind of been doing, just because combat is so fast. But we're about to be outpaced by the game, I think, in the next couple areas. If the game wants me to hit level 80, I don't think that's going to happen. Do a little... How did that not- how did that not reach? Did you cheat me, game? That should have reached. Oh, I won't let you jump there. That's what I'm talking about. If you play a game like East, East would have let me make that jump. They've removed the camp from Rise, I could recommend it. I love the game of the DLC in the middle of the game sucks. Yeah, at some point I need to try Rise and Vesperia. They're on the list. I- I would play Zillia first, so I might just skip Symphonia. I just don't think I can make myself play Sym Symphonia. I don't think there's a way I can make it entertaining for myself. I think I told chat the story once. The, the real reason why I'll never forgive Symphonia. So for the very first boss of the game, um, I did a 136 hit combo with basic starter characters, and then the game only unlocked one combo title for me. And I, I, I'm still salty about that today, chat. I don't know why. Why even put a 100 hit combo unlock if you're not going to give it to me when I get 100 hits? I'm still salty. It put me in a bad mood for the rest of the game. I'm just letting you know. 
Like, I already wasn't a fan of the characters, but man. I'm like, come on. Do you know how hard it is to get a 100 hit combo with literally starting level characters? Do you know how much manipulation was needed for that to occur? Was not rewarded, chat, for my, my efforts. And if you're wondering, yes, I did get through the boss's super immunity. Apparently, there's a weakness with it, as I found out while playing, where if he activates it in the air and then he starts to land, it ignores his little immunity. Because a lot of bosses in Symphonia have like a get off me mechanic, as do uh, I think a couple bosses in Graces to stop you from infiniting them. But if you air juggle them just right, you would actually get under them. And the game didn't quite know how to interpret that. So those curious, <laughs> that mechanic does not stop you from infiniting. You just have to play around it. And I was not rewarded for figuring that out. It was very sad. We played on like, I think hard mode. So I took that same save file and played with uh, three other people at one point. And I'm like, ah, I think I'm done. Where? Is the staircase. I'm looking at the minimap. Like, normally I would just be able. If this was an East game, I'd just jump there, but yeah. Oh, well, I guess I can't go that way. Where do you want me to go? I'll probably have to go up to go over. So the kettle guys are not gonna get one shot by me, which is a little concerning. There we go. Kettlekin is the only enemy type I respect in this game. All of us, there we go. Broke his guard, so this should kill him now. As long as I combo him first, this should always kill. Hmm. I guess I could see what a golden shiny is in this area. Not worth it. Got it. Makes sense. That checks out to expectations, to be honest. That after Donna feels really sad. Do you mean in terms of quality? What do you mean by that? Elaborate. I mean, I, I warned you not to play it. The combat is really fun, but yeah. If you try playing it for story, you've been you were warned already. <laughs> The game, that game's story is actually atrocious. Uh, let's see, let's go this way. I love the movement in it. I might speedrun that game in the future. I'll think about it. There's like one trick I'm not sure how to do. And there's another trick that's really annoying to do. But it's not as hard as going out of bounds in the boss fight in Donna. Like, that one I could reasonably get, I just couldn't get it in a speedrunner amount of time, get it? Like, I could probably do it in 40 minutes kind of things. Just skip an entire dungeon. But I, I, I would not be able to achieve any records with that, just from that trick alone, let alone the rest of the run. Because I did skip to chapter 5, I think without uh, collecting a single party member other than White Cat. That game is very broken. Goodbye, enemies. Reese leveled again. And more strength will help. I mean... I wish I could say... I wish I could say I'm surprised, Calvisham, but I played that game, so I already know. I don't think I need her in any higher. I guess I could go towards attack. <gasps> yeah, movement, movement, combat, S plus plus tier. Plot, D minus. Uh, supporting cast, D minus. Overall game feel, probably like a D. A lot of the things are just Donna, but worse. It feels really awkward having a town, which is kind of interesting as a setting, but then there's just like magic walls everywhere. Definitely takes me out of it in settings. 
The last one I play, so I need to finish. You don't have to, Calvisham. It's okay. We 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 can. You just watch the ending. You don't have to beat it, Calvisham. It's not worth it. We all, most of us in this stream, have seen the plot twist of that game and how bad it is. And given that you haven't complained about the plot twist, that tells me you're not at the plot twist. <laughs> it's very late in the game and it is very stupid. I remember Chris Grimm was here. And he, he was just he was just shouting, what? What? <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh. Everybody was mad. Everybody was mad. I clipped that moment when it happened. Everybody was mad at the plot twist. Not an exaggeration. The whole chat was popping off. It was the longest release it's been in a while. It is quite bad, Calvisham. I'm gonna brace you now. I don't remember what chapter it's in to inform you. It involves the identity of the main villain. When you know that, you've come to the plot twist. And it is so terrible. It is so bad. Unforgivably so. Just everything in that cutscene is just phenomenally bad. I felt like they were definitely phoning it in at the end. Jeez, how many more rooms do I have to go through? I feel like I've been in this dungeon for over an hour. Chat could correct me if I'm wrong. This dungeon is taking a very long time to complete. I guess I'll go see what the chest is about. Yeah, it's after the last monstrum. I don't remember how far away it is, though. It involves a very terrible boss battle. If nobody's been kidnapped, you're not far enough yet. Let us work to Get rid of these. Goodbye, Zeds. Goodbye, random enemies. My aim was true, and my power unbeatable. I mean, I'm not gonna save the game. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm, like, it's fine. Come on. So basically this final area is just replay the entire game. I feel like we've gone through almost every dungeon location at this point. We have like a couple of towns left. So we're now about the right level for this area. Ooh, him leveling could be huge here. Uh, yeah, might as well give him more strength. I don't have a reason to ever level any of these other abilities, so might as well as. Like defense, who cares? Uh, is there a way to lower this barrier? Hmm. Or is he gonna make me explore the side area first? It's kind of unfortunate. I think we have to go this way. Oh no, Count Visham. I mostly had fun with it. I just realized that it was just kind of, we're gonna reuse all the game's bosses from prior things. And yes, there's a plot reason for it. And no, it is not worth it. Rid of these. Get the game's busy work. Let's get you back to the barrier. Honestly, Calvisham, I don't think I had any trouble with any boss in the game. I don't even know if I died to a single boss in East. Maybe the prison fight because I was under leveled in the cage match. Maybe I had a character die. 
I think that might have been the only real time I could remember anything in the game being hard. I mean, I beat that game with literally base weapon, base armor. To give you an idea, Calvisham, like, I, I did not try very hard. The only other boss that actually made me use items at all during the boss battle was the optional super boss. That fight was actually moderately challenging, but mostly just because it was a very long on a grind match. If I had been upgrading, I think that the fight would have not lasted long enough for it to matter. But the fact that I was getting constantly HP down was pretty obnoxious. But yeah, otherwise, super easy game. As I said before, I, I don't think I had a single character die. I never used meals, never healed. Didn't need it. Got one shot a few times on hard. I got one shot by like random mini boss things. Like there was the one guy roaming the prison. There's like the super armor who walks really slow. He ended up killing a couple characters. But I think that was probably the most lethal enemy outside of the post game, not post game, uh, outside of the super boss. I don't think most bosses last a long enough, Calvation. Like, I know you're venting to me, but I'm like, the game was very easy. It was it was even easier than Donna, and I thought Donna was already kind of easy. Excluding uh, the damage bugs that were in Donna, since uh, it's very easy to accidentally overflow the damage in that game. I mean, I, I beat the game with base weapon, Calvisham. And no meals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, I tried to make it harder. I at no point upgraded because it wasn't needed. And I beat the I beat the super boss with base armor, base weapon, I'm pretty sure. Or at minimum base armor. I think I use I think I use accessories. I think I use accessories, but that was about it. Yeah, let's kill these enemies. I mostly just want to see what the game intends the difficulty to be. I don't really find like hard mode for the most part enjoyable lately on most games. Like I, I watch you play certain games and I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. I don't really want to be sitting there resetting on bosses over and over, regardless of what the game is. Honestly, like, if I don't beat it in two tries, I would be pretty upset. Hopefully, ideally, just beat it in one try every time. There's only a couple of games where I felt like I played where they were, like, a little too hard. I felt like specifically that one boss in, uh, E7, the giant chicken boss, whatever it is called, in the wind towers. That boss was way overtuned. That boss took forever to kill. We'll do another attack loop on this enemy. Oh, they did their level four? Never mind. I didn't need to attack Luke. How's that for a finishing blow? Yeah, because I, I think the flip side, Calvisham, is you're saying like, man, this boss was really annoying, was really hard, and then you're like, I played on hard mode, and I'm like, I'm gonna struggle at that? I'm like, that feels like self-inflicted. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Yes. Yeah, East 3 on hard mode was miserable. That game, I definitely was not happy I chose that difficulty. That was probably the last time I willingly started on hard mode in a while. Because I, I got tired of that kind of artificial difficulty. Where this damage was just way overtuned. I'm just not interested in playing games where you potentially die in three hits. I'm just... I'm not interested. I'd rather play through a normal difficulty and then skip all grinding, skip upgrades, and go, you know what? They're there for players that need them, but I don't need them. So watch how fast I could beat this game on the standard difficulty. I'd rather go through with that mindset. Then I have a lot more fun with it. Minus this game, because this game's combat's a bit too easy. 
I don't feel rewarded in this game like I do with Sengoku Basara. Or anything equivalent, sadly. I think the problem is just like I'm used to more complicated games. So for this one, this is probably a little too basic for me. Like even if I played this on hard, I don't think my opinion would change very much, to be honest. Oh, they actually hit me before I class strike there. Congratulations, King Mimic. Goodbye. I mean, like, was was that really a show of skill that the enemy could do like 80% of my health there? What was that a quote unquote hard battle because it could do 80%? Not really. It's stuff like that. Like, I just I won't really miss that if it does 80% versus 100% kind of things. But that's the thing, like, I don't even second try the bosses. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I deal with them once, one and done. Boss fights go so much faster. So if I like the game, I'll progressively up the difficulty. Do we really have a teleport puzzle? Uh... Those are my least favorite ways of making a challenge. Let's all kill these. Is there a rhyme or reason to what I'm teleporting to? No, no, there's not. Like, is this really quote unquote? It, like, I don't find these kinds of challenges in games interesting, if you even want to call this a challenge. Like, I'm, I'm playing Pick a Path. I don't know what warp goes where. So, I'm kind of at the mercy of the game to advance a little bit. I'm going to go back to one specific room, which I think I could do by always choosing the left one. What happens if I go in the middle this time? Really? So are you telling me I made almost every correct choice but the last one? That is so sad. Big F in the chat. I actually almost got that entire puzzle in one try. So sad. I maybe could have taken a slightly shorter route there, but I did actually go there without repeating, I think. Up until I missed that last choice. So sad. It's kind of like this game on hard mode. Would it really make a difference if they have like 40% more HP? What is this? How? I mean, my strategy is not really going to change that much. Especially not at this point in the game. They'd make me class strike twice? Question more? Who knows, maybe I'll humor Calvisham and play this game on hard mode. But again, the challenge is not from like, I feel like I'm being challenged as a player. It feels more like, how much do I feel like putting up with the AI? That's the real question, because I don't find these bosses hard at all. Like, I wouldn't even consider these harder than any East boss that we played, outside of maybe East 1. No I mean, they have very simple patterns. They have really big visual cues. The only thing that's kind of wonky is sometimes they hit much bigger of an area than they show. 
which again feels more unfair to the player than like challenge like if you're gonna draw a big box where they're gonna aim if i'm physically behind the character that's doing it i don't think that should hit you i'm just saying that's just that, that's a philosophy for me specifically i mean if, if you're gonna bother showing me attack indicators make them accurate So because of the fact this game uses the big red glowing indicators, I don't think I'll ever find the game kind of quote unquote difficult. It'll just be more like, how much can I recover when my allies inevitably don't dodge? Which I don't think is really interesting, but if the chat really wants to see it on hard mode, I could try it. I don't think I want to do expert mode, since I think that's geared for people that have all of the end game abilities. So I feel like we would be walking into like way, 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 way overtuned enemies. So even basic enemies would just one shot unless I do game plus or something. So that I'm definitely not interested in. I think I'm going to skip these treasure chests. I don't think I care about any of them at this point. Yeah, it's just like, do I really want to fight jewel beasts with like five times HP? Like, is this pattern really all that different in higher difficulties? As somebody that's played like a lot of Dynasty Warriors, like even Dynasty Warriors, I have to think a bit more in combat than this game. This game, I'm like, I'm going to pick my quadruple square or quintuple square combo into triangle finish. And that will be the only move I do for the rest of the game. If I do anything else, I guarantee you it's because I miscounted the number of squares. <laughs> it's not a strategy on my part for chat that is curious. I'm meaning to do this attack. That's the only attack I care about at this point in the game. Oh, we actually got through to the end. Okay, plot's finally happening. So I skipped several chests. Evil smell is getting stronger. Anis must be getting close. I guess I'm ready for the boss. I'm about the right level. Anis must be getting close. Be careful from here on out. This feels pretty boss arena esque. So we're going in with basically on un unupgraded armor. Party. Let's see if I get punished at all on normal. Look at that. <laughs> Bold of you to come here instead of running away. Which Anis? I never run. I have but one desire. Use the portal to Mavolia to destroy the world. I like how he says I'll never run and then all we do is I run from combat. <laughs> ruin this realm with my own two hands. <laughs> Behold my power and despair at your worthlessness. Okay, let's see how hard this boss is. Let's immediately go for stat downs. Uh worms. Well that was just rude. I was locked in my animation there. Defense down, Anise, if I can. How is she almost dead? Do you see what I mean, chat? Like, I'm barely doing any- Like, I'm the one doing all the work here and the AI is almost dead. Like, that just blows my mind. I think chat can agree. Like, seriously? So this... This Anna is the witch. So I'm getting tagged because I'm in the middle of animations, which is kind of unfair. Her power is almost on par with the Please kill this. Is this it? Alright, so let's see how much damage she takes from wood damage. Let's see how much she does if I nerf her damage a little bit. Don't worry, Barry. She took 2,000. 
Oh, so this boss fight is over. Let's lower her defense again. Unlucky. How are you almost dead? What is what are they doing? <laughs> Do you see what I mean, chat? Like, is this quote unquote hard for me? Not really. I'm assuming there's a phase two. So I took a little bit of damage, but not that much damage. Okay. So I'll do a very minimal heal. Let's have you use a chocolate on me. Let's have you defense down them. And they're dead. Do you see what I mean? Like, it, <laughs> like, is it hard because like the boss is hard, or they just can't dodge? I'm gonna take damage for healing them. Nice. You know, I play as another character for five seconds. Just five seconds. I got punished so hard. What is this? <sighs> That's irritating. Thanks for getting my character killed, AI. Appreciate it. The boss is almost dead. I just need to land like one more solid hit. I'm not sure if the arena damages me yet or not. Then why don't you debuff the damage? And okay, now I think I could go in. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just saw what she summoned a little too late. Uh, I can't see what I'm targeting. Oh, now the camera is rotating. Thank you. Uh, can you hex this? Maybe this thing? Did, did you not hex this though? Are, are they trolling me? Why are you not killing this, please? Jeez, do I have to do everything by myself, chat? Do you see what I mean? Like, look at this. Ah, uh, don't start me in there. Just keep our ally alive, please. 
You know, I can't keep reviving you. This is getting very annoying. Can you guys please try dodging? I'd appreciate if one of you tried dodging. How are you guys almost dead? Come on. It's not that hard to dodge. I, cl I got clipped a little bit, but like... I'm not taking remotely near as much damage as our allies are. Him, please. They're not that hard to dodge. Stop it. Oh, Shadow's dead. You knocked me down. What a jerk. It should be GG. Goodbye. End it, chat. What is this dodging you speak of? Pretty much. <laughs> You really thought this was over? I can never be purged from this world. Someday, I will be revived and bring chaos with me. Once time passes and you are long gone from this realm, I will remain, biding my time. Chaos will reign. Someday... So, I mean, that was more of a fight than Dark Lich, I guess. Uh, we... we won? Mm, not quite. As long as the Goddess of Mana exists, Annas will never disappear completely. But you dealt her a major blow! Hmm, I don't think she'll be coming back anytime soon. Not done. Goddess is still in danger. Let's talk to Grand Qua. That's <laughs> what the music shift. Oh, you have defeated the fierce of witch Annis. As long as brave young souls like yourselves are willing to fight for justice, this world can yet be saved from chaos. That look in each of your eyes reminds me of a time long, long ago. Youth is the hope of this world. I believe I can rest easily with that knowledge. Ah, my young adventurers, you are the world's beacon of hope. I have faith that you will save the goddess of mana. Believe in yourself. Sure, I guess we'll save. I mean... And added like another two hours ish of content, I guess. But I think we can say, I think we can say, like, aside from our allies dying, I, ba I barely got hit. I mean, I got clipped by like a 250 move. I mean, unfortunately, when I swapped back to my character, they put the character dead center into the laser attack, and there's nothing I could have done about that. It, it was just over. The AI didn't dodge. I swapped into them, didn't realize what they did, died. So I'm not counting that one. <laughs> that that was that was I controlled some other character for five seconds, got unlucky. When I was actually playing as Kevin, I think I did fine. I dodged like what was it like eight out of nine attacks in a row without taking damage. I don't I don't think it was that hard. Nisa's chaotic power will not disappear. You can get new powers by defeating her when she tries to revive. That's like new game plus from title menu. Save the goddess of mana. Oh no. Oh no. Should I go beat up the dark lich because it's funny? Like what what could they even possibly do to stop me at this point? Oh, I actually ran out of skill points to get. That's awkward. Um
Do I want to have him do CS saver stuff at all? I don't think so. Most of these are kind of terrible. Um... Sure, let's give him stamina so he dies slower. <laughs> right, chat? Why not? Yeah, let, let's just go bully the, the final boss of the game. Why not? I don't... I guess we could in theory start another game, but it won't be for very long if we do do it. Since it is... We'd only be playing for about an hour. Which I don't mind doing, but... It's really up to chat. I think at minimum we should just dunk on Dark Lich. I want to see if I could just one combo him to death. If our ally level fours, I think I can kill him in one combo. Unfortunately, our allies never level forward on that fight, so we'll never know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming chat wants me to play as Angela, Durin, Charlotte. If chat can confirm that before I beat this boss, then I will consider playing again. But again, from the standpoint of just completing the game, I guess I could get the achievements out of the way. I did not mean to save over that. I did not mean to save over that. I meant to save down here. Oops. I wonder if that's going to mess up the new game plus file. Is there a way to... I hate the menu in this game. How do I go to here? Return to title. Welcome to Parameter. And I still new game plus off that save file. Let's find out. Trials of mana. Uh, I don't think we could really care about that. Okay, so I could choose still. That's all I wanted to know. I don't think I'm gonna do new game plus. I don't think I'm interested in quote unquote amping the difficulty. I was informed New Game Plus, your allies can't die, so it's purely down to whether or not you could beat the boss. But I don't feel like playing it, to be honest. No more enemies. Not until next time. It doesn't mean they'll dodge, so they, I think they could get reduced low on health. So anything where, like, let's say I had Kevin as a support character, and I'm not playing as him manually, him being low on health wouldn't be a big issue, because he basically wouldn't be able to die. So it is interesting in the sense that they acknowledge that the AI is too stupid to live, so they invented a mode where they physically can't die. Which I find kind of funny. Yeah, I never even got to do my Dragon Burst. I'm so sad. So I think to see the only other boss we haven't seen, I guess for the sake of the Trials playthrough, if I play through as at least Angela or Durin, but to be honest, I don't really want to play as Durin. So if we play through as Angela, we'll at least see a new boss compared to the other game, so I'm not repeating content per se. I think that would probably be okay. Goodbye, every enemy near me. Kevin leveling here would actually be huge, but I doubt it'll happen. I, th I would have to get like another triple XP before the end. I love that I'm gaining meter in this fight, though. Both of them are level 4 -ing. Where was that on the boss that we were fighting earlier? Right, chat? Where was that when we actually needed it? That fight would have been so fast if they level 4 I would have chained off of them so hard. I would have built like 100 meter while they were comboing and then just done my own meter. Clear no longer did chip chippers more dangerous than Dragon and Ease, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, like, a difficulty change will impact my feeling toward the game. Like, I, I don't find the game hard in general. Not from, like, a mechanic standpoint or numbers. It just... We are used to so much faster-paced games on stream 
And I totally get it. For people that are not as, like, into something as fast-paced as East, if they don't like the parry system in that game, or they don't like the concept of air dashes, I can definitely see why people would enjoy the combat. It's just that I have played so many mechanically complex games, it's harder for me to enjoy it other than the game going, like, big number, big damage. Like, I've played games where I chain together, like, 12 to 16 unique moves in a combo to get through, like, a combo limit. And I experiment in Tails games to get unlimited juggle. Like, I, I go so far beyond what I would think this game would ever ask of me. It's, like, crazy. Big number go boom the Jack Atlas way? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, think about it this way. When we played, like, Berseria, remember when I was doing little, uh the moon flip kicks, because I was figuring out how to make near infinite combos with that. Does chat remember that in the forest when we were fighting Pickards? <laughs> and I was just air juggling for years. I got like a 60 hit combo with only one move. That's the stuff I'm talking about. That's the stuff I'll do. Oh nice, it's nighttime right as we go to beat the boss. I could level again, but let let's give the boss a, a chance. Ooh, increase your strength by a little bit. Maybe she'll actually help break things. Remember you do the same thing with White Cat? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, exactly. Like, eventually I'll just find it. I'll find, like, the dream combo. Yeah, chat remembers the stun loops in East, which I don't even know if Calvisham found it. Calvisham, did you do the infinites? That game has legit infinites. Holy. Never forget the White Cat Infinite. That was disgusting. We had those bosses in, de de like, near infinite loops. Anyway, we're gonna skip their dialogue. We don't really care what they have to say. I like that I don't even need to bother with Dragon Scales with the other ones. Yeah, White Scale is... Oh, excuse me. White Cat is actually so busted. What a... What a unfair character. Um... I guess we'll do... Defense Down into... I mean, you should take like a million damage from this, right? That time I dodged, because I knew it was coming. That happened the last time we did this. Let's see how much damage we do here, chat. Oh, did that not pop the crystals automatically? Well, that's kind of annoying, actually. Wow, thanks, allies. <laughs> oh, that was so fast. That was so fast. He's lucky. He's lucky the Super Saiyan verse didn't pop all three. That was that was decisive, chat. Yeah, yeah, but you're immortal. Yada yada, get wrecked. <laughs> right, chat? Like, that was mean. I I, I think that guy hit once, maybe. I skipped I dodged one spell that I knew would hit me, because that happened last time. So sad. I didn't even get to use the level 4 and the other character. Anyway, we're just gonna skip all the cutscene stuff. It's fine. Just, just formally say Dark Lich was absolutely Exodia obliterated, chat. Not even remotely fair. Yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> just, there's so many loading screens. Come on, game. You could do it. Come on, you can do it. We're almost done. I see starting as Angela being kind of rough because it's going to be a very melee-oriented game. 
until we start getting to at least the first class upgrade. So I imagine the game will actually be fairly difficult. Just because of the fact that I'll have two characters with very low attack power. And then Durin will be the only character that will probably survive most boss fights more than a hit. So it'll be very interesting. We get to the credits. Bye credits. Now I get to train baby Ludger. Alright, so let's save over this file again. I think we could say, chat, that was definitive. The rematch was very decisive. Oh, right. Trials of Nana. Blinding white light. Okay, chat, so let's take a small break here. So that way we can say goodbye to YouTube for this portion of the video. So I guess we're done with the playthrough. What did I think of the post-game content? Kind of boring. It was just a rehash of the existing dungeons. The final boss was sort of interesting, but again, I had like near infinite class strike. So I had so many ways to iframe through attacks that it didn't really matter. And to think chat, I don't even have like a super great setup for it, I don't think. Compared to like potentially like people that really grind out the game. I think there's spells in the other path that Kevin could take that instantly refill your uh, class strike gauge. Which we didn't even bother going through. I didn't need it. I think just having the discount on payback literally broke the game and he was the big damage dealer. I guess it could be interesting to see Hawkeye paired with other characters. He's kind of like a hybrid character. So we ended up using more as a magic dealer, and I think he did okay in that role. I just wish he would spam spells a bit more on his own without me needing to manually control him. Because technically his damage was really good, it's just he didn't do the thing that made him good. So I guess if I were playing again, and I were to play Kalkai, I'd probably just make him pure melee, whatever gave the highest melee, and just acknowledge the fact that he will basically never do anything useful if I was playing on a standard difficulty. Now, if there's like some other exceptions, like, oh, this is not good on no more feature, whatever. It's whatever, I, I don't plan on playing that difficulty. So anyway, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube, take a small break, and we will return. I guess I'll try hard mode briefly and see how I feel about it. But anyway, um, that's all for now for this part of the playthrough. So hope you enjoyed their story. We have the absolutely atrocious worst ending of the game, Kevin. <laughs> I like how Hawkeye literally lost his family and then Kevin's like, oh, no, no, the dog lives. <laughs> that was all an illusion. But but Eagle getting absolutely murdered and you overthrowing the kingdom. Yeah, that still happens. Sucks to be you. GG. <laughs> the actual bad ending. Reese got the ending of maybe probably don't let Elliot have things anymore and then bad things won't occur. She had that solid ending. <laughs> we apparently buried the dog alive. Yeah, exactly. What an ending. But anyway, that's all for this part of the playthrough. So uh, I guess when we return, we're going to say hello to YouTube. But for now, goodbye, YouTube, and see you again in the next part, question mark? <laughs>